This video is related to listener. Listener plays a very important role in J meter because listener is that element in J meter which shows the execution results of sampler. Suppose you have written the whole script and you executed it. Now, where do you see the results? That is listener through which you can see the reports. You can add listener in whole test plan or in any particular thread group or you can also add listener in specific sampler as well. Using listener, we can view the reports in different formats. The different listeners show the same results in different ways. For example, you can select listener in tree format or table format or graph format, etc. Let's go through these different types of listeners one by one. First, we have view results tree. We have used this listener in our previous videos as well. This type of listener shows the results of all requests in a sequence in which they are performed. You can see the request and response data tabs. In request, we have request body and request headers. Similarly, in response data, we have response body and response headers. The default format of view results tree is text. You can select any other format as well from this drop down. For example, regular expressions or HTML, JSON or XML formats. And the results will be displayed in the selected format. Next, the most commonly used listener is view results in table. In this listener, the results are displayed in tabular form. And the details are sample number, start time, thread name, label. The label is basically the name of any sampler. Sample time in milliseconds, its status, received bytes, sent bytes, latency connect time in milliseconds next we have summary report the summary report shows individual results of each sampler along with total results it shows details as sampler label, number of samples means number of requests sent in a sampler. As of now, we have only one request in each sampler. That's why it is showing one in each row. Then you get average, minimum and maximum time. Here, if you see the minimum time taken by all requests is 307 and the maximum time taken by all requests is 1948 and the average is 726. Standard deviation. Deviation should be minimum. This indicates that how much the system is fluctuating means how much stable our application is. Then error percentage. This is 100% because this sample is failing. Rest of the samples are passing. That's why they, they are 0%. Throughput is defined as the number of requests processed per second. This also indicates that the amount of required capacity that a website or any application can handle. In projects, you can also decide in advance 
that how many number of requests should be handled per second or per hour that output is displayed in throughput then we have received kilobytes per second sent kilobytes per second average bytes next is aggregate report the aggregate report is similar to summary report the difference is that aggregate report also provides median 90% line 95% line and 99% line due to these parameters aggregate report takes more memory usage than summary report but it does not provide standard deviation that is given in summary report so the difference is that aggregate report shows some additional parameters like median the median is also called as 50% line then 90% 95% and 99% line median is basically a number which divides the samples into two equal halves half of the samplers are smaller than the median and half are larger some samplers values may equal to the median in other words the median is the time in the middle of a set of results 50% of the samplers take no more than this time 90% line means 90% of the samples took no more than this specified time similarly 95% line is that 95% of the samplers took no more than this given time and same as for 99% line next is aggregate graph the aggregate graph displays same output as aggregate report the only difference between these two is that you can see the graph of all output in this listener you can save the graph as well you can save table data as well in csv format you can select the columns that you want to see in the graph and can select other details like color or font style etc next is backend listener the backend listener is used if you want to send your results to external sources like influx db graphite grafana these are the open source databases used for data storage for monitoring purpose and real time analytics you have to do complete setup and provide the host and port for that if you want to connect to these external sources then you can add this listener in each sampler type we have results data in different formats so you can use any listener as per your requirements that's it for now thank you and don't forget to like subscribe and share the channel